watching big game coverage on KSAC 12. We're the Rowdy Roller Construction Crew. And, and we're, we're here to deconstruct the Jags. Yeah! That is awesome. Johnson and Reagan is the big game in our big game coverage this week. Two undefeated teams going head to head in District 28-6A, Mary. And here is where the big game is going down. Hero Stadium located off of Warsbach Parkway. And what a beautiful night for high school football between the second ranked Reagan Rattlers and number three Johnson Jaguars. All right, Reagan brought their own construction crew to this one because as they just said, they were there to deconstruct the Jags. Let's see if they did that first quarter. Jags are down seven to nothing about the score. The handoff goes to Lauren Johnson. He just refuses to get tackled using one hand to stay up and that's a 14 yard touchdown. And this game is tied at seven. Second quarter, well, it starts to rain. More action now, tied to 13. Rattlers QB Brad Jackson scrambling to his right, then he throws the ball to Michael Isgetti for the end zone touchdown, 25 yards, Rattlers, and they go up 20 to 13. This was a great back and forth football game. Late fourth quarter, Isgetti scores to make it 40 to 27, Rattlers, and the Reagan Rattlers win this game 41 27. They take this battle of two versus number three, but their quarterback isn't letting them get too far ahead of themselves. I mean, I'm gonna let my, my let myself and my teammates celebrate this one tonight. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, it's all business. You know, back again tomorrow. We got to come in for for treatment and you know work work out. We're focusing on Churchill next week, and we got to be one and zero next week. And then you know we just got to take it one day at a time, one practice at a time, and keep it one game at a time. And then look, and then hopefully we'll look up and we'll see ourselves in, in December playing for hopefully a state championship. Once again, that district title goes through Reagan. The student section of Lenoff Stadium was jam packed and lively as usual. Where the Steel Knights are playing the San Marcos Rattlers. Steele was looking to improve to 2-0 in District 27-6A. Second quarter, Knights ball. Chad Warner gives it to Jonathan Hatton. He breaks off a 15-yard touchdown run, and the Steele Knights lead 14-0. Later in the quarter, give the ball to Sammy Harris, please, and then he bounces off the pile, dives into the end zone. Steele extends their lead 21-0, and Steele rose 45-6, improving to 6-1 overall, 2-0 in district play. Time to do some push-ups at Randolph for the fifth-ranked Rohawks. We're playing Ingram Moore, first quarter, Rohawks up 7-6 to six with the ball. Quarterback Colin Stuckey throws down the field to Lee McMuhan for a big gain down to the 15-yard line. Moments later, the same two finish off the drive. Stuckey to McMuhan for a sweet grab in the end zone. 30-yard touchdown. Randolph leads it 14-6, and Randolph takes it 14-6. Here's wrestling legend Bill Goldberg greeting the seventh-ranked champion Chargers ahead of their game with the Wagner Thunderbirds at Rutledge Stadium. First quarter, T-Birds get on the board first. Handoff goes to Jamari Jones and he scores a 37-yard touchdown and into 7 to nothing. Wagner still in the first quarter. Champion is punting the ball away. It hits off a Thunderbird. Ricochets into the end zone where it's recovered by Hudson Simmons for a touchdown, and this game is tied at 7. And Wagner goes on to beat Champion by a final of 34 to 21. Out at Southwest Legacy, the Titans are coming off of a tough district loss to Martin, and tonight was going to be another tough task. The top birds in District 13 5A D1, the Southside Cardinals looking to make it seven straight wins. Just before halftime, QB Caden Keith rolls to his right and floats one to the back of the end zone for the short TD toss to Noah Ramirez. And the Cardinal defense was also putting on a show. Check out this hit by Josiah Reyna. That kind of hitting Ooh. would lead to a 36 to nothing victory for Southside. Out at Somerset, the ninth ranked Bulldogs eyeing two district wins in a row, hosting Fredericksburg, the Billies in punt formation. And the Somerset special teams blocks the punt. Brandon Kebb got his hands in on it and it bounces around a few times before Nathan Flores recovers it, putting the Bulldogs in great field position that would set up QB Colby Isbell. He fakes the screen pass and throws a beauty of a ball to Jaden Foz for the 41 yard touchdown as the Bulldogs would go on to win it 28 to 21. Buckle up for this one. It's a heavy weight bout between two district 14 5 AD2 programs Alamo Heights and Harlandale both undefeated. Mules come out swinging QB Colin Ernst to the 30, to the 40, until Rene Cantu brings him down near midfield. Later in the drive, it's Ernst on the keeper. He uses his speed to split the defense for a trip to pay dirt. This was a one possession game at one point until Alamo Heights ran away with it, of course, 60 
to 34. When we say a student section was rocking, this is what we mean. The South San Luchador is part of the theme tonight. Out to the field just before halftime, Laredo Nixon driving and QB Ray Gonzalez airs one out to a wide open Thomas Limon for a 25-yard touchdown to tie this to 21. This one would go back and forth all night, but Laredo Nixon gets the last laugh, winning 36-28 in double overtime. Even the youngest Lanier fans were fired up for their showdown against Brackenridge at the SAISD Sports Complex third quarter. Vokes going with the Wildcat as Marquise Dixon weaves his way through the Brack D 14 yard touchdown run. Extra point made it 42 0 Lanier as the Vokes dominated this one, winning 55 to 7. All right, bringing the action now to Benson 66 Stadium. Central Catholic playing host to number eight Antonian. Apaches in the red zone, running back Landon Prouty takes the handoff. He goes to the outside and barrels through a couple of tackles for an extra yard or two. Then Jace Toscano hits Raleigh Strode in the corner of the end zone for six. Antonian wins this one in dominant fashion, 40 to zero. Four and two, Jefferson takes on 12th ranked Burbank, who is five and one overall at Alamo Stadium. Bulldogs QB Kevin Hernandez wheels his way to the five before he's taken down by a sea of blue jerseys this time. Hernandez quick pass to Izzy Zapata and Zapata does the rest up the middle and tackled across the goal line for the touchdown. Burbank wins the district battle 41 to 13. The Madison Mavericks visited Marshall looking to snap a two game losing streak but the tough running of the Rams had other ideas. Five yards out they hand that off to Julian Leha who just breaks the plane making it a 13 to 14 game as the Rams rolled in this one 33 to 20. We've still got another segment to go still to come the BGC road trip stops in Hondo and Medina Valley High School plus the Spurs are home playing the Heat. Yes but before we go let's listen to the Warren High School band from their homecoming performance last night. Welcome back. It's time for the BGC road trip. The saw Fotogeti Latigo make stops in Hondo and then Medina Valley High School. We start with the Hondo versus Lytle district matchup where a spirited crowd filled the stands of Berry Field on homecoming nights. We have both programs ranked as they enter the game with identical 5-1 records. Opening kickoff. Explosive start for the Owls. Ryan Gillum finds the open seam along the outside, and he is gone. The senior soaking up the moment as he gives Hondo the early lead with a 73-yard kickoff return for the Tutty. Now to Castroville, <laughs> where the Medina Valley parents getting in on the halftime entertainment. Awesome. <laughs> Look at the moves on this guy. Love it. He's feeling it. All right, the Panthers hosting 10th-ranked Southwest. Medina Valley QB Michael Newton goes deep and wide out Carter Hewitt makes the 30 yard diving touchdown catch. What a throw. What a play. Here's how those two games played out. Hondo lights it up on homecoming night by defeating Lytle 42 to 14. Meanwhile, Southwest took down Benita Valley 12 to 9. All right, here's some other scores for you tonight. Smith Valley beats Mac 62 to nothing. Bernie over Memorial 42 to zip. And in three more scores, we've got uh, Lavernia beating Floresville 63-28. Bandera just edges out Pearsall 26 to 22. And Jordanton all over Crystal City 34 to 6.